By chance, do you have an open corner in your garage or workshop? Well, here's a great way to make a simple little shelf that will not only give you some extra storage, it's really easy to install. Now, first off, we need a large flat surface. It can be MDF, it can be particle board, it can be plywood, whatever you'd like. In this case, it is an old desk, and uh, I believe it's particle board. In any case, you need to make sure it's at least three quarters of an inch thick because you need a lot of strength. Now we need to make sure that at least two of your sides are 90 degrees from each other. If by chance you bought some wood from the store, good chance that the factory cuts are already at 90 degrees. But if not, use your circular saw or your table saw to make sure those are perpendicular. Next up, we need to measure out your shelf for the appropriate size for your corner. Now one more thing to consider is the shape of your shelf. Do you want it to be straight across in the front so it just creates a big triangle, or would you like it to be more curved or rounded? Now if you make it a triangle, there is much less likely of a chance that somebody will bump into it. But if you make it nice and curved, it'll give you a lot more surface for storage, and I think it just looks a little more appealing to the eye. Now in my case, I'm going to be making a curved front, and to do that, I'm just using a pencil on a string. We're going to take one side of the string here, we're going to hold it in this corner, and we're going to go out to the farthest part of the shelf here, which should be right here in this corner, and then we're just going to trace it out, holding it nice and sturdy against the string. Then you can use a jigsaw or a bandsaw to cut this out. Now that we have the shelf cut out in the shape that we'd like, we need to cut out some supports that'll be going under it. And to do that, I'm gonna be using this piece here that had cut off of that shelf earlier. Now, you don't have to have this. You can always use a two by four or maybe some furring strips. In either case, I'm going to be doubling this up so it can be pretty thick. And that way it'll be nice, good support for the shelf and attached nice and strong to the wall. Now to speed up this process a little bit, I put three brad nails in each of these just to hold them together so I don't have to wait for the glue to dry. But you don't have to do that. You can just clamp these together, set it to the side, and give it probably 30 to 40 minutes to let the glue start to dry. Next up, we're going to measure these strips along the shelf that we've made. Now, of course, I don't want it to be the full length of the shelf because it does look kind of bulky and just not look very good showing off the end of the shelf. So we're actually going to come in probably two or three inches. We're going to make a mark and cut that nice and flush where the wall will be. And then we'll do the same with the second piece. Now here on the front side, I'm going to be cutting this also at a 45 degree angle and that way it'll be even less likely to be seen under the shelf. Now when we do this, make sure that the factory edge will be up against the wall here and that way it'll be nice and secure when we put screws in. I also trimmed off the little sharp edges on the end. And that's what it's going to look like underneath. Now that we have everything cut out, I need to figure out exactly where I'm going to put the shelf. In my case, I know I want the bottom of the shelf that I'm about to put up to be right at two feet above this shelf here. So I can have a smaller one up high. To do that, we're just going to measure it out and put a mark. Now we're going to take a level, we're going to put it right up against that mark that we just did. We want to make sure this is nice and level, but if we want to have it slightly tilted, we want to have it slightly high in the front. That way if anything does roll, it'll roll towards the wall. So once we get that nice and aligned where we want it, we can take a pencil and just draw a straight line up to that mark. And we don't have to worry about this pencil mark because it's going to be covered anyway. Now when you're installing your shelf supports, it's a good idea to try and find the studs that are in the wall. In my case, I have wood up against the wall, so I'm not too concerned about it. But if possible, find those studs. I'm also going to pre-drill these holes to make them easier to install. Now when you're installing these type of shelf supports, it's a good idea to go ahead and start the screws, and then have them sticking through about an eighth of an inch. That way, as you're going up towards the line, Make sure you get everything nice and level exactly where you wanted it. And then just take your hand and bump, bump, and now you set little divots into the wall and it should make screwing them in a little bit easier. Now it's time to give the shelf a test fit. Fits in there nicely. Now to secure this in place, there's a couple ways you can do it. You can take a couple screws and go in from the bottom, making sure not to go too far up through the top of the shelf. Or in my case, since this is a garage, I'm just gonna take a couple screws and go in from the top. 
And there we have it, fully installed. Now I just have to go back and paint it just like I did these. Well, I hope you enjoyed this project. So get out in your shop and have fun building.